you are going through, God will make a way. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. For 30 years, I have suffered the sickness. And as we are singing and praising God right now, she felt something just leave her body. And now she is free. There's no pain. Come on, somebody! you quiet for a very long time today you say hey 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 Amen. Please take your seats. Now let me say a very big good morning to you all. Morning. Morning, man of God. I bet everybody's in a very good spirit. By grace. High, high, high spirit. Just thank God for his mercies. Tender mercies. This week has been a very interesting one. The President of the Republic of Ghana has been on a state visit to Ghana. And fortunately for me, and by virtue of commitment, I've been part of the program back to back. It's been very interesting. The people I'm very happy with is Reverend Amatefiu and Copra Amano and the, the driver Alice who had a chance to have the stink of the presidential judge of the jet of the Republic of Hungary. Look at Amano there. Amano, how does it feel like? Hey. Uh, come, 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 come. She. Mura, Mura. Uh, how, how, does it, how does it feel like? How does it feel like? Hallelujah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Hey. <laughs> it was so interesting yesterday, yes. and I felt like. <laughs> Pastor, to I beg you, <laughs> I've ever sat in a presidential jet before, <laughs> and I've, I'm in new level now. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed myself yesterday, and I'm so grateful to Daddy that the God richly bless you. Bless you. I've broken protocol in my family. God bless you. <laughs> You've broken protocol in your family. Nobody has ever sat in a presidential jet before. So I've sat it. And I'll go. I'll go and I'll go. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> you know, so this is this world. Everybody and what brings them excitement. And sometimes, for all you know, people's spirits, Pastor Malon, people's faith, people's confidence, people's excitement is, is brought up. Even Amatefio has had a chance to be with me in many of those things for a long time. Even he himself, his mood changed yesterday. I saw Pastor Amatefio dressing up his suit yesterday. I said, ah. <laughs> dressing up his suit yesterday. Wonderful. Amen. Please put the scripture on. John chapter 3, verse 16 to 20. And I'm going to be very brief here today. But let me say you're all looking wonderful, gorgeous, beautiful. So that you look very nice. Amen. Ah. John chapter 3, verse 16 through to 20. Amen. Don't worry, it's okay. They will get there. Amen. For God so loved the world. This is a scripture everybody knows. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, 
but have everlasting life. Verse 17. For God sends not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that he should through him might be saved. Continue. Continue. He that delivers, believes in him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten son. This in itself is a message. Verse 19. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. And men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Let me read that one again. Pastor Malon, verse 19 of John chapter 3. It says, And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Verse 20. For everyone that doth evil hateth the light, neither come to the light lest his deeds should be reproved. Now, having read that, go back to John chapter 1, uh, John chapter 3, and let's read from 1, 2, and 3. I just want to establish a point. If I don't intend to speak very long today. I just, I'm missing all of you, and I want to just come and sing. The presence of Hungary is going in about an hour's time from now, so I need to go and just see him off. And then we clear all our standing things. Pastor Manu, it's been very tedious and long, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Not many people get to sit in presidential planes and eat with the president. May it happen to you. Yeah. Uh, how Copra, Copra, uh, Amano say he, he has broken the protocol of his family. I agree with you. You've broken, I like that one. You've broken family protocol. I like that. This is a message. You've broken family. It's not happening to your family before. It will happen to all of you. Yeah. Amen. They will be your friends. They will be a colleague. In fact, you two present will come from your home. No present has two heads. No present has four legs. No present has four. The same thing. They go to bathroom the way you go to bathroom. They have running stomach the way you have running stomach. They are toothache pain them the way your toothache pain them. Sometimes they have headache the way you have headache. If it has happened to somebody for a breakthrough, you two it will happen to you. Your Amen. son will be a present. Your daughter will be a present. Some connection will come. God will open. Amen. And if you believe it, lift up your right hand and say, I receive it. I receive it. I receive it. Be the person, like, I'm gonna love that word. Be the person to break the protocol of that family. Be the person to break the protocol. Be the person to break the protocol. Then it becomes a normal thing. The protocol must be open for it to become a normal thing. I think it must be what? Normal. Must be broken for it to become normal. normal. There was a man, the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art the teacher, come from God. For no man can do these miracles. Everybody say these miracles. Now the these is T-H-E-S-E, meaning it's plural. It means different varieties of miracles. Today, this morning, I pray that whatever your Variety is that is a miracle. Receive it. Amen. Amen. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. This is the message. I finished my message today. Whatever somebody's miracle is just to have a breakthrough. Receive it. Amen. Receive somebody's it. miracle is just to have acceptance. Receive it. I receive it. Somebody's miracle is just to see some good news. Receive it. I receive somebody's it. miracle is just for nobody to take your place. Receive it. I receive somebody's it. miracle for you to be connected. Receive it. 
receive Somebody's it. miracle is for a financial break to receive it. Receive Somebody's it. miracle is accepting this money, receive it. Receive Somebody's it. miracle is an assurance, receive it. I, receive I say it. these are different varieties right. of miracles. I don't know what kind of miracle you need, but I stand with you today, this morning, in this short message, and I say receive the miracle you need, receive, receive it. it. Somebody's miracle is just a word from somebody. These. These. I love that one. It said and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher and you come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou thus except God be with him. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand here today as the mouthpiece of God and I declare unto you that miracle. Amen. I said 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 that miracle. Amen. I declare unto you that uncommon miracle. Amen. That miracle that makes future. I receive. That miracle that makes godliness. I receive. That miracle that brings grace. I believe. That miracle that brings favor. I accept. That miracle that makes you. I take you. That miracle that will separate you from me. I allow. That miracle that will make you break the promise. That miracle that will make it the same. Say that's where I that's I the school we went to. The school they don't excel. Break that protocol. Amen. Oh, I might not love that word. Amen. Sometimes babes can even give you words. That's Amen. Why. How many of you want to break the protocol? Break, break certain protocol. Go ahead, break it now. Break, da, 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 break da, certain da, protocol da. now. Break a practical protocol in your house. And hear me, I agree. Uh, Pastor Matthew, I agree. Until the day I sat on a plane to travel to Europe, nobody from my father's house. And this is not an ordinary plane. Eh? This is not an ordinary plane. This is a presidential. Yes. I sat, I sat it. I remember I was sitting in the plane and I looked at all my siblings and I put my foot down. Those days there was something in Ghana I loved. Those of you who were older enough, when you are traveling in Ghana, you, you climb to the top. Kutuka International Airport, you go to the top and when you are going to the plane, they see you. People come there to come and view them. And, and we used to go and see people off traveling. And then me, 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 nene, me, denche, me, 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 nene, me too, I was traveling. When, when I was traveling, North Kanishin, we had two uh, trotro. That is what we all sat down. We see Jama to the airport. Jesus Christ. When I was going, what are you Echo back or down? I mean, Nako Echo down. We see Jama to the airport. Even people came from the villages to come and see me off. Eh? I wrote that. This one of you want to tell me to tell me to ah Jesus. It will happen to you, Pastor. Man, I don't know what happened to you. She know it will happen to you. I see Jama. I love Kanishi. Last up, eh? Two, throw, throw, two. Not to in the airport, eh? Say, 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 why you so wet to it? And the protocol was broken. The protocol was so broken that today in my house, nobody goes to look for visa. The protocol is broken. No, nobody goes to look for. If you're a tete, if you come from uh, something tete or Julian and tete, you don't need visa for America. You don't need visa for Europe. You don't need, in fact, you don't. You don't need visa. We don't queue for visas. That from the day I travel, that protocol was broken. Ladies and gentlemen, there must be a time in your life when certain limitation in your house is broken. It's broken. I don't think Eben and Vicky and Princess and others, they understand what it means to go and queue for visa. I mean, no, she, she. They don't even know the value they have for the British passport they even hold. They don't understand it. I'm a new shishi. Even then a British passport, I have a new one. A new shishi. My passports don't get missing because I know when I sat in the throttle. I know when I sat in the throttle. But they, they get missing. When they get missing, they know if you get missing 24 hours in Britain, you can just book and they'll send it to you. Me, no, Elaji, trust me. From the day I, I left till today, how many pastors did you count the last time? 
85 booklets. I have all. All passport they live to now. Hey, hear me. Because sometimes you look at it and you cry small. You say, oh, this was the passport that broke the protocol. This was the day that broke the protocol. This was the day that breakthrough happened. Listen, gentlemen, I don't care where the devil came from to attack you. From today, the protocol that has held you bound is broken. Amen. Hallelujah! It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. The it's thing broken. that say you cannot achieve is broken. It's broken. broken. The thing that say you have to depend on certain people for you to be happy is broken. It's broken. It's broken. The thing that make you feel like a nobody. I say it is broken. It's broken. It's broken. In John 3, 3. So Jesus answered and said unto him, Very, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Listen, gentlemen, this morning, five reasons why you must be born again is that it's when you become born again, number one, that you see the glory of God. Number two, when you become born again, you have connection with God. Number three, when you become, oh, let me go back. I know some of you like right now. Number one, when you become born again, what happens? You see the glory of God. Number two, when you become born, you become connected with God. Number three, when you become born again, you have God's presence with you. Number four, when you become born again, you are protected and covered. And finally, when you become born again, you carry grace. Anybody who is born again, you carry grace. How many of you know that some of you seated here today, it's not because you plan well, it's not because you're a good calculator, it's not because you're a good planner, it's not because you're a good administrator. Look at how certain things work at certain times. At times when you thought your back was to the wall, God made a way for you where there seemed to be no way. I just spoke somebody's story. I yes. just spoke about somebody. Yes. Somebody listened to me today. When you thought everything was gone and your back was to the wall and your enemy has got you and then they are going to be laughing at you and then all of a sudden God made a way for you where there seemed to be no way. Look at you seated here today. Some of your enemies are still trying to figure out what kind of human being you are because all they tried against you, all they planned against you, all they did to you, you are still alive. You put on some lipstick, you put on some cutest, you buy, buy, buy some new hair, you put on some attire, you yourself you are working you walk some time even though you have inside pain in you they think all is well with you because you carry some grace of God the goodness and the mercy of God has always been your portion you want to be like the ones Jesus spoke about if only you are born again and you know the name of the Lord the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous run into it and they are safe so whatever it is you are going through today remember God has not let you down. He has not left you alone. He has not left you behind. And for did you hear what I said? He has his way of doing it and putting it together and fixing it together. He will fix it for you. Your enemies couldn't fix it for you because they don't have what it takes to fix it. But your God will fix it for you. I came to let you know this morning that you are not a loser anymore. You are not a reproach anymore. You are not a scorn anymore. You are not a byword anymore because he leaves. You will leave too because he leaves you can face tomorrow because he leaves you will not be what they want you to be the same God who brought you this far that same God will open other doors for you don't compare yourself to them there's nothing to compare yourself to them about for all you know whatever they are working on whatever they are boasting with is just a matter of time the stables are about to change you are on the winning side because he leaves you are on the winning side. All will be well and God knows how to put it well. The battle is not for the swift and it's not for the strong. It's not he that will it, nor he that run it. It's God that shows mercy. As you see today and you listen to me today, the same God who has made it possible for them to be also excited, that same God is about to make it possible for you. If I were you, I would lift up my right hand and I say thank you God. Thank you God. The same God. Same God. <clears throat> I look at this piece from sometimes 
Barbara knows some stuff I love, and every now and then she sent me some. And I read this. It's very interesting. It said, as I sat into the courtroom, as I sat in the courtroom, I witnessed several examples of the brokenness of our world. A daughter estranged from her mother. A husband and a wife who did lost their love they once had and now shared only bitterness. A husband who yearned to be re reconciled with his wife and to be reunited with his children. They desperately needed change, hearts healed, wounds, and for God's love to prevail. Sometimes, when the world around us seems to hold only darkness and despair, it is easy to give in to despair. But then the spirit who lives inside believes believers in Christ. It's like John 14, 17. Reminds us that Jesus died for that brokenness and pain. When he came into the world as a human, he brought light into the darkness. We see this in his conversation with, in conversation with Nicodemus, who fortunately came to Jesus in the common cover of darkness, but left imparted by the light. Jesus taught Nicodemus that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Then Barbara continued to say, Nene, I know this message, you can twist it, turn it, take it, carry it, but remember, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, but he so ever. And remember years ago, Nene, you preached on a message I still remember in Nigeria by the title, Whose Fool Are You? That message is a message you should go back again because many people want to hear those messages. As strong and as hard as it was, there were many that got converted. Remember, including, okay, somebody's name, she met them. You, even though, yet even though Jesus brought light, and the love into the world, many remain lost in the darkness of their sins. If we're his followers, we will have the light that dispels darkness in gratitude. Let's pray that God will make us beacons of his love and above all things, a symbol to make many people come to see God's glory. Pray that that power of John 3.16 is instilled, injected, and immunized into every man, every woman. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Nene, this message of yours as strong messages, as simple as it is, and I want you to carry it on to the world for God so loved the world. This is the message I received from Barbara this morning. For God so loved the world. And I took it. Do you know we worry ourselves for nothing? We live in pain for nothing. We allow certain people's thoughts to control us for nothing. And for all you know, because of your love for him, he has a destiny for you. You will not die the way you are. You not die the way you are. You not die the way you feel. That sickness will go give way. Amen. That poverty will give way. Amen. That debt will give way. Amen. That embarrassment will give way. Amen. That shame will give way. Amen. That story will give way. Amen. You are at the verge of winning. Amen. There's going to be a new song. There's going to be a new testimony. Amen. Your destiny is about to change. Amen. You too, you're about to look at somebody yes. and tell the person, I've been there before. Yes. This was what it used to be. Mm. But this is what the Lord has done. Yeah. I cannot tell it all. Mm. You will be talking like the song composer 
who says if I have a thousand tongues, because you need that thousand tongues to tell people the goodness of God, the joy of God. You are seated here today. Nobody seems to think about you. Nobody seems to bother about you. But very soon you are going to be the talk of the town. Yes. Because what God is about to do, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Yes, I agree with Barbara. For God so loved the world that he, he gave, gave his only begotten God. son that whosoever believe in him I don't know what matter of belief you want. I don't know what kind of level you want to believe. I don't know at which stage you want to believe. Whosoever. But if only you can believe that. Whosoever. And you can believe that which God has said concerning you. Whatever you want today. Ask God for some three things today. I stand before you today with this good spirit of mine. With this good feeling of mine. Ask God for some God three things now. You personally. Ask God for some three things now. And I command that you receive it in the name of Jesus. Three things. Ask him. Three things. Just ask him for three things. Ask him for three things. Some of you, maybe it's about your marriage. Ask him. Some of you, maybe it's about your children. Ask him. Maybe some of it's about your health. Ask him. Maybe some of it's about your money. Ask him. Maybe some of it's about a relationship. Ask him. Maybe some of it's about your direction. Ask him. Maybe some of it's about your education. Ask him. Maybe some of it's about your work. Ask him. Maybe some of it's about your ministry. Ask him. I say, ask God for three things. And I increase it for you. If you have more than three things, ask him for all those things. Give it to him. Let him be in charge. He has never failed before. He is being the same yesterday. He is the same today. Certainly will be the this same forever. He has not lied. He does not lie. He is the same. He is the God of all flesh. And God bless you. Never failed me yet. God bless you. I bless you this morning. I pray that you never lack that glorious time in Jesus' name. Pastor Two Rocks and continue. Jesus never failed me yet. Never failed me yet. Jesus love. Must never fail me.